Uh, thank you, Anil ji, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, two questions: one on on the the manpower front. I would say that it's a question of a demand and supply. Uh, when we talk about the the younger generation joining the paper industry, why there is no traction? Why I mean, we are facing this difficulty. We need to do some kind of introspection in the industry. Are we providing the right kind of atmosphere? Are we providing right kind of a compensation? Are we providing right kind of a career opportunity to the younger people? That's the one question we need to continuously ask. Also, we need to think that what kind of a societal changes are happening in the society. See, most of the paper companies are manufacturing facilities. Since we are talking about the technical resource more, uh, most of our manufacturing facilities are not near to the, the metro cities, not near to the urban centers. So, I mean, attracting the good talent in the remote places is a big challenge. And we need to understand that this challenge is going to remain. So, first and foremost thing, I would say that to what extent we are willing to pay a right kind of a compensation to the right kind of a talent. And we need to make sure that we do this. Otherwise, we will not be able to attract the talent. I mean, this is a very small element of cost as far as our total cost of production is concerned. And we need to correct the, the whole compensation packages to the younger people. Otherwise, we will not be able to attract the young people in the industry. Also, at the same time, we need to provide them the right kind of opportunities. See, the young people today, they, they they want to do the, the, the challenging jobs. Uh, they are not interested in the, the same mechanical and monotonous job you provide them for ages. The time has changed. I mean, you and me, for number of years, we used to do the same kind of a work and we still felt uh, uh, nothing bad in this. But today, the time has changed. The younger people, they are not willing to do the same kind of a job for many months. I mean, we used to think about years, but now it is the months. So we need to provide them right kind of a job rotation, job opportunities, so that they, they retain, I mean, they are retained and they continuously do the value addition in the organization. Also, the infrastructure we provide at our manufacturing facilities, if we have a townships, I mean, those townships need to be the, the good and livable townships. In fact, many townships, uh, we also, I mean, thought on this part, our townships, when we constructed, they, those were 50 years old houses. Uh, I mean, if you think that the, the furniture and the fixture we provide in the houses, they are not of the standard. The young people, they are not going to live in those houses. So we need to upgrade those facilities. I tell you just one example. I mean, we used to have the, the bachelor hostel in the in the, the, the companies. And I tell you, the first time many years back when I visited the bachelor hostel, I said that if my son can't stay in this hostel, why a qualified engineer or a qualified management graduate will stay in this hostel? So I said that these hostels we need to upgrade. And I'm happy to say that our bachelor hostels now in our facilities, they are air-conditioned furnished bachelor hostels. We have furnished, refurbished and air-conditioned those hostels. All the good facilities and amenities are provided in those hostels. So at least those, I mean the youngsters, they feel that they are in a good condition. So all the housing, the welfare facilities, entertainment facilities and everything we need to think that they are of the today's standard. Then only we will be able to attract and retain the, the people. On the digital part, I would say that we need to understand and differentiate digitization and digital. See, when we talk about the paper demand, we are talking about in the context of digitization. And when the digitization happens, the paper demand, 
will come under pressure and that will also happen and uh, continuously there will be the digitization it will impact the paper demand but at the same time there are many many newer application those will demand the paper and that's the reason that even the office paper we see a good demand there is no no issue i would say that yes we used to think about double digit growth few years back but that time is over the base itself has changed and the growth rate even if it is 4 5% there's a healthy growth so we need to think this way but the digitalization when we are talking we need to think about the unstoppable changes in the the society and that change is unstoppable we will not be able to 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 think other way around if the digitalization is likely to happen it will happen and uh, we will have to we will have to follow that in fact um, four years back we had a top management conference in the jk group we have a practice of holding the uh, the management conferences and there it was said there are some unstoppable changes in the society those will happen and we will have no option other than to to go for it and one change that time it was told to us was the the digitalization and in fact uh, two and a half years back we took this initiative and uh, i am happy to to say that huge impact and in fact the digitalization when we thought we didn't realize and we didn't anticipate uh, this only a technical evolution for the company we thought that the digitalization let's think about the whole cultural transformation in the company and that is what we 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 started this initiative uh, close to more than 2 years back uh, we had a implementation partner on the digitalization and every area we touched in the digitalization and i am very happy to to share today not only the financial benefit but the whole cultural shift is taking place in the organization and it will take some more time we were clearly told by our implementation partner that this is not going to be a journey of 3 to 5 years this is going to be a journey for 5 to 10 year because the whole cultural shift whole mindset shift takes time and um, sorry for my making this comment uh, coming from non paper sector but of course in last 12 years i have become part of this this family and uh, i have become a paper man but all the time i have some other thoughts non paper uh, because there has to be a radical shift and again the mindset the we need to think differently and that is what um, we have tried in jk paper and the digital intervention digitalization i mean the people used to think that the generation four machine generation five machine can only have the digital a uh, compatibility but i must say that no that concept and the myth is not correct even the 50 year old 60 year old machine can be made compatible to the the digital revolution and this is what we have been doing i must say that our sirpur paper plant has the biggest gainer of digital intervention our whole initiative in the manufacturing sector uh, at the sirpur paper mill is the huge advantage are the older machine at our uh, sonder plant are taking the equal advantages i mean the jk raigada uh, certainly we had the newer machines and new pulp mill we are taking the full advantage but the older area also we are equally having the same advantage and uh, it will this the we have just started the journey and it will take some more time all our people will become the digital and tech savvy and um, hopefully all other players will take the full advantage of uh, uh, this and we will have no other option in fact uh, in the marketing also we have taken the same initiative in our supply chain also we have taken the same initiative in every area uh, this digital initiative we have implemented and it will take some more time to take the full advantage